Hi everybody, it's Zimra Chuyuki once again, giving you guys another tutorial for VR Chat, and today we're talking about worlds, and we're going to talk about how to use instances, and they determine which instance type is right for you and your friends. If you guys like these types of tutorials, make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, and enable your notifications. And if you guys like VR Chat on my channel, we have VR Retro Yuki VR now. Check out the YouTube channel and our Twitch channel starting Tuesday, December uh, June, June the sixth, seventh, where we talk, where we start using Shadow the Hedgehog. So make sure you guys check that out. Also, check out the Patreon if you guys want to support the channel financially. I do a lot of stuff with you for you guys, and your support is well, well appreciated. So make sure you guys check that out and you get a shout out at the end of the credit sequence of the VR chat highlights. All right, let's go ahead and talk about worlds and instance types that we need to talk about. But first, let's talk about the details of worlds. Let's get started by opening the main menu by pressing your escape key on your keyboard or the main menu button on your headset or quest, whatever it may be. What we want to do is go to worlds and we want to do is select a random world. What I'm about to talk about is the exact same thing for each platform, each world, just a different world name. Let's take a look at this Put Put Quest, for example. Here's how to read it. On the top left corner here, we have a picture of the world that we are talking about putt putt quest and on the top left corner you may have noticed this area right here this is going to be the information type of the of the world for example we have the server number or the world number we have the author of the world or the one who made that instance we have the type of instance public and we have the server or USW for short. In this case, US West for this one because it's USW. On the right side, we have the author, the type, the size, if you are talking about like download downloads, how many public servers, how many private servers of this particular world. And then a little description for you. On the right side, you can make this your favorite or you can make it your home. Home, in the terms of VRChat, is if you go ahead and load VRChat for the, for, for the next time. If your home world is set to put, put quest, then what's going to happen is when you log in again, you're going to start in put, put quest for your home world. That's where you do home world. On the bottom here, on the on Pod Pod Quest picture, you have the name of the world, obviously, and on the right is how many people are in that particular instance, as well as a number on the right side of that number, and that is the maximum of people who can be in that particular instance, most likely developed used by the developer. Okay, now we're going to talk about instances in a moment, but first. You may have noticed that if we favorite this world and we add it to our keyboard, to our favorites, you're going to get a star, a yellow star, shown here. This yellow star will only pop up if that world is in your favorites of any type. Then below that is compatibility. This is going to determine if you're, the world you're about to select or go into is compatible with two things PC or Quest. PC is desktop version and Quest is for those of you with the Oculus Quest headset from Facebook. So if you have the Oculus Quest from Facebook if the green light is on that means this world is compatible with the with the headset. If it's not on then that means that world is not compatible and you're going to need to find something else. Because it might bug out if you use this world and when it's not compatible. Okay. Then you have two options on below that. Go and drop portal. Go means go straight to the world without anybody. 
but drop portal means you're going to drop a portal to a world to the world like this let me go ahead and let me go ahead and move around a little bit let's go ahead and go back there and let's drop a portal we're going to drop a portal like that and it's going to say what's the name of the of the world who dropped the portal what type of world it is public or private the 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 how many people are in there and how many seconds you have until the portal disappears before you have to drop a new one okay so that's what you have to do there also on the top right there what's it what it is compatible with pc or quest same rule if the quest light is on or green that means it's compatible with quest if not it's not let's go back to worlds here because there's a few more things we need to discuss and that is the instances okay so you can also select tags by the way press this button to select a tag these tags allow you to select more worlds based on that tag for example if we look for golf we're going to be able to find more golf worlds for example putt putt pun putt putt quest and several others with that particular tag and there's other cool things you can do with that as well now let's go ahead and talk about one of the most one of the most important parts of world selection and that is the instance because this instance is going to be very important when you're trying to find a world that you want to play with them so how do we do this if you go to ahead and select new instance you're going to have six options five options for you guys to play with public friends plus friends invite plus and invite only also there is a region selection as well public is everybody can join public lobby invasion is what we like to call it here friends plus is when you have a friend it's friends and then they can invite their friends too friends only means friends only in your friends list we'll talk about in our social video uh, social section later invite plus means if you invite somebody they can invite somebody then they can invite somebody but invite only means you can only invite whoever you want but only you get to accept the request to join the world so what do i usually do for vr chat open lobbies when i do these on tuesdays thursdays and fr saturdays i usually go with friends plus the reason being is because if you have friends only then they cannot invite anybody else it's an open lobby so i go with friends plus but you may be wondering why i never why i don't usually use public because in that case you have you you will you will never know what you're gonna get the only time i go public is when i do a public lobby invasion type of stream and that's when anybody can join but i don't do those often so it's going to be a very rare thing that I'm doing on public lobby invasion. The next public lobby invasion, guys, is not until Francis the Hedgehog makes his debut. A little spoiler alert for you guys. I am planning that for a very big public lobby invasion to meet um, our boy. So please keep that in mind. We are going to have a public lobby invasion for Francis the Hedgehog and his debut very big event because it's my it's my first character of three coming to vr chat so i'm very excited for that okay now region region is very very specific you can select a new instance based on region and you have a four options you have usw united states west us east like east coast eu europe or JP Japan so you can select a region as well however I usually try to make this as even as possible okay so you may be wondering which instances for me 
if you're planning a, a if you're planning a open lobby I I recommend you to use friends plus if you're planning a public lobby invasion you use public if you're planning a very special event that only your friends can play friends only if you're planning to have a a minimum lobby invasion invite plus and if you're planning to do a very special video for a particular world invite only that's my scenarios for the instances okay now next time we're going to be talking about my favorite part and that is avatars we're going to have an avatar tutorial in terms of how avatars work and what can you expect from avatars when it comes to like special ideas we're always going to be talking about the interactions with avatars including their emotes and certain avatars have selected tools or selected emotes and expressions based on their avatar where they're coming from for example this one is from minecraft and minecraft is a game and there's actually tools for you guys to play with for role playing purposes too so if you're a role player out there the avatars tutorial is going to be the one for you so come on back our next our next episode is about avatars and the details behind them in the next one enjoy and happy vr chatting with your buddies